assuming things go well, we will we'll 10x that that output next year. So we'll aim to do maybe 50 to 100,000 ro humanoid robots next year. For the first time, Tesla is building a gigafactory not for cars, but for humanoid robots. No shared production lines, no reused infrastructure. Optimus will have its own dedicated manufacturing empire. This decision shows that Elon Musk doesn't see the Tesla bot as a side project, but as a core strategic product. So what makes Tesla need an entirely new factory just to build robots? Before we begin, please help us reach 12,000 subscribers. It will be a huge motivation for us to continue bringing you great episodes about Tesla bot, Tesla EVs, and the latest news. How will the new factory optimize mass production specifically for Tesla bot? Tesla is preparing for a revolutionary leap in the robotics industry with its decision to build a dedicated gigafactory for producing the Tesla bot, Optimus Gen 3. This isn't just another ordinary factory. It's an expansion of the giga philosophy that Elon Musk has successfully applied in the electric vehicle industry. Just as Giga Texas and Giga Shanghai once set records for Model Y production speed and scale, Giga Tesla Bot will be the facility where the goal of manufacturing millions of humanoid robots per year becomes reality, with low costs and high customizability. Unlike today's robotics factories, which mostly rely on manual assembly and produce in very limited volumes, Tesla is gigifying the entire Optimus production process by vertically integrating every stage from raw materials, machining, and assembly to final testing, all within a single facility. This vertically integrated model, already proven in Tesla's vehicle production, allows for tight control over every step, reduced dependence on outside suppliers, and a streamlined environment where AI can continuously learn and improve right inside the production loop. Beyond factory layout, Tesla's design thinking is embedded in every technical detail of Optimus Gen 3. The robot has been built for mass production from day one, a drivetrain composed of just five core components, modular hands with 11 degrees of freedom that can be assembled by machine and a custom design chip developed in-house, not sourced externally. This simplification doesn't mean reduced performance. On the contrary, Optimus Gen 3 can operate continuously for 10 hours per charge and recharge in just about 10 minutes. These are breakthrough figures far beyond what current prototypes from figure AI or agility robotics can achieve, most of which are still stuck in small-scale trials. What's remarkable is that Tesla isn't just building robots, it's enabling robots to build robots. In recent demo videos, Elon Musk showcased Optimus independently stacking trays, assembling modules, and moving around the factory floor. When Giga Tesla bot is fully operational, Optimus robots will be actively involved in assembling future generations of themselves. This creates a unique closed-loop system. Data collected from thousands of robots will be fed back into the factory to improve both hardware and software, which will be immediately applied to the next production batches. Here, automation isn't just a tool, it's the DNA of the entire system. Another key factor that makes the Giga strategy so effective is the economy of scale. Once output reaches hundreds of thousands or even millions of units annually, the production cost per robot will drop significantly. Just like Tesla once cut the price of the Model 3 from over $50,000 to around $35,000 within a few years, Elon Musk has stated he wants the Tesla bot to cost under $20,000. While the first version may be priced higher, around $30,000 to $40,000, with current improvements in manufacturing, mass affordability is not far off. According to internal data in 2025, Tesla plans to start production at Giga Tesla Bot by the end of 2026, with an initial output of about 250,000 units per year, scaling up to 500,000 units by 2028. This is unprecedented in the humanoid robot industry, where companies like Boston Dynamics and Figure AI are still hand-assembling a few hundred units per year. The ability to produce one robot every 30 seconds, as Elon Musk mentioned during Investor Day, illustrates that Giga Tesla Bot is more than a factory. It's a global-scale robot-making machine. Equally important is Tesla's strict application of the design for automation principle. Every part of Optimus is standardized for easy assembly, replacement, and repair. Quality control systems are embedded with sensors, cameras, and AI software, eliminating the need for manual inspection. 
This not only cuts labor costs, but also boosts production speed and reduces the risk of product defects. Both critical if Tesla aims to reach the ambitious goal of 1 million robots per year. In short, Giga Tesla Bot represents a major leap in turning humanoid robots from high-end research prototypes into mainstream consumer products, ready to work in factories, offices, hospitals, and even homes. It reflects not just an industrial vision, but Elon Musk's preparation for a global infrastructure that will support a post-labor era where robots take over most of the basic human tasks. In the not-so-distant future, the Tesla bot may become the iPhone of robotics, and Giga Tesla bot is the massive Foxconn-style engine behind it. Once again, please help us reach 12,000 subscribers. This is important for us to stay motivated. Thank you. What will Tesla do to scale up and reach the goal of producing millions of units per year? When Elon Musk announced that Tesla would produce millions of Optimus humanoid robots per year, many considered it an overly ambitious goal. But looking back at Tesla's history, from a startup producing just a few thousand Model S cars annually to nearly two million Model Y and Model 3 vehicles in 2024, it's clear that Tesla has already achieved what once seemed impossible. Now the target of producing one million Tesla bots per year is not just a milestone in scale, but a stepping stone to bring humanoid robots out of research labs and into everyday life turning expensive prototypes into globally accessible consumer products. As of mid-2025, Tesla is believed to have completed trial production of about 10,000 units of the Optimus Gen 3 in the U.S., primarily for internal use in the Cybertruck production line and select enterprise partners. However, according to Musk's roadmap, released earlier this year, Tesla aims to reach an output of 100,000 to 250,000 robots per year by the end of 2026 and scale to 1 million robots annually before 2030. To achieve this, Tesla likely won't rely on a single factory. The first Giga Tesla bot facility is expected to be located near Giga Texas or Giga Nevada, but Musk has hinted at the possibility of additional plants in Europe and Asia, with potential sites including Berlin and India. If each factory can produce 250,000 robots annually, Tesla would only need four such plants to hit the 1 million unit mark, a figure unprecedented in the humanoid robotics industry. This expansion strategy doesn't rely solely on building more factories. It's also driven by Tesla's ability to share components with its EV business. Tesla is reusing the 4,680 battery cell, compact electric drive units, FSD chips, and even OTA software, all of which were originally developed for electric vehicles. This dramatically reduces production costs and accelerates deployment. Analysts estimate that the current production cost per Optimus unit ranges from $80,000 to $100,000. But once output exceeds 500,000 units per year, that figure could drop below $20,000. Thanks to such economies of scale, Tesla may realistically deliver on its goal of an affordable robot for the masses, just as it once did with the Model 3. Equally important, Mass production on the scale of millions of units per year enables Tesla to build a collective learning network for its robots. Every Tesla bot operating in the real world continuously sends data back to Tesla's AI training center. Through a system of continuous learning and synchronized OTA software updates, Tesla can improve its entire global robot fleet with a single update. This is a decisive advantage that rivals like Figure AI, Boston Dynamics, and agility robotics, each deploying only a few hundred units, simply cannot match. Economically, producing one million Tesla bots per year could represent a major shift in the global labor market if each robot can replace the work of a general laborer earning an average of $30,000 per year. Then the Optimus fleet could generate the equivalent of $30 billion in value annually for businesses worldwide. This doesn't even include specialized applications in healthcare, elder care, industrial manufacturing, logistics, and even space operations. How will the structure of this future bot factory differ from Tesla's existing gigafactories? If Tesla's current gigafactories were built to optimize electric vehicle production, from chassis to drivetrain to battery systems, then the future Giga Tesla bot must be completely redesigned. This is because the product it will manufacture is no longer a four-wheeled machine for the road, 
but a humanoid robot capable of navigating complex environments. This shift demands a fundamental change in the factory structure, processes, and operational philosophy. In other words, Giga Tesla Bot will be a next-generation Giga, where robots build robots, and assembly lines are no longer tailored for heavy, rigid objects, but for mobile, intelligent entities that can learn over time. First, the assembly line at Giga Tesla Bot will move from a linear process to a modular cell-based model, similar to how Lego systems work. While EV factories often rely on long conveyor belts, where vehicle frames move sequentially through stations, building Optimus, with its human-like structure, requires the process to be divided into modular clusters, arms, legs, torso, head, and drivetrain. Each module will be assembled separately in highly automated stations and then integrated during the final stage. This approach reduces production time per robot to just tens of seconds and allows for easier expansion, maintenance, and upgrades of individual parts without disrupting the whole line. What's more impressive is that Optimus itself will be part of the process. In Tesla's latest demo videos, the robot is shown navigating factory floors, manipulating materials with precision, and even assembling basic components of another robot. With such capabilities, the future factory will include zones where humans are not required, where robots collaborate with other robots in a fully AI-controlled environment. This marks a core difference from Tesla's existing Giga factories, which still rely on thousands of engineers and workers for operation. Another unique feature of the Tesla Bot factory is the integration of AI training systems and data centers directly on site. In current Giga factories, data from vehicles is sent back to Tesla headquarters or the Dojo supercomputer for processing, training, and software updates. But with robots, where every action is a real world interaction, data needs to be processed, trained, and updated in real time. That's why in Giga Tesla Bot, clusters of Dojo supercomputers will be located right next to the production lines, continuously learning from active robots and instantly updating the behavior of new units being built. This creates a closed loop of learning, production, and improvement, all in real time. Additionally, the architecture of this new Giga will prioritize vertical flexibility and space optimization, unlike the sprawling layout of current EV plants. Since robots are far lighter than cars and don't require wide transport areas, Tesla can build vertically stacked assembly tiers, maximizing factory space and minimizing land usage, an essential consideration as Tesla expands into countries with limited industrial land, such as Japan, South Korea, or the Netherlands. One lesser known but critically important innovation is the Autonomous Quality Inspection System. At Giga Tesla Bot, quality checks will no longer rely on human inspectors. Instead, robots will test each other using built-in sensors and AI-driven diagnostics. An Optimus, once fully assembled, could test another Optimus's arm movement, force sensors, and visual systems, all through procedures conducted by its robotic counterpart. This is the pinnacle of automated quality control, where the product becomes the most precise inspector of its own kind. What truly sets the Tesla Bot factory apart is its stark contrast with how competitors are approaching humanoid robot production. For example, Figure AI, one of the most closely watched startups, is still assembling its Figure 01 robots semi-manually in a lab-like setting, with only a few hundred units planned for 2025. Their lines heavily depend on engineers and specialists working through each step, with no scalable infrastructure in place to handle thousands of units per month. Boston Dynamics faces a similar challenge. Although Atlas can perform extremely complex motions, each unit requires weeks of manual assembly, tuning, and testing. Tesla, by contrast, is taking the opposite approach. Instead of starting with a highly complex robot, they've designed Optimus Gen 3 from the ground up for mass production using simplified parts, machine-friendly modular assembly, and interchangeable systems. This is what enables Tesla to build a factory that can assemble a robot in minutes, with near-total support from other robots, instead of relying on hundreds of human technicians. Moreover, Tesla controls both hardware and software, while most rivals still depend on third-party integrations. Figure AI uses OpenAI's language models and NVIDIA chips, whereas Tesla designs its own FSD chips 
and customizes the machine learning algorithms specifically for its robots. This level of integration allows Tesla to synchronize software, hardware, and production lines in a way no competitor can match in the short term. We appreciate your contributions and hope you will have the most relaxing feelings after watching this video. If you did, please hit the like button and join the Techno Creator family by subscribing to our channel. And don't miss out on any of our awesome videos by hitting the bell icon. We value your feedback and your time. Thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you soon. Until then, stay safe and have fun.